regarding the Roman seven four. Yep. I would just say that what, what what we need to understand about the gospel is that the death that is reckoned to the believer through to the believer in Messiah through what he accomplished on the cross. So in other words, I think we would agree that the the claim of the gospel is that when Yeshua died on the cross, that, that he died for us, right? For our sins. And that Paul says how many times that we died with him on the cross. And that what is that death that is reckoned as a legal fact? That is that the tyranny or the, or the um, slavery to sin, which in light of before God's holy law required death penalty and actually more than a death penalty, because let's say in a situation where a human, well, uh, you know, has killed more than one person, you know, like, like you, you can't pay two death death penalties, right? There's, there's a point where human sin gets to be that yes, death is just, but, but it's, but it's not the full payment of what the damage done because of that individual sin. And that has to do with the miracle of Messiah's majesty and his glory and his divinity that he could pay the, that such a price for us. But the, I'm getting into the weeds here. The death reckoned to me as a believer in Messiah by his death on the cross on my behalf is a death to what Caleb was just talking about, the sinful passions. It's not, I, I, and so when it says I died to the law, it means that there was a legal claim by God's law against my life. Which, which by of, the way, because of my sin. Which, by the way, he, Paul actually states this. It, what, what Tan would need to do is we can't we can't just pick, cherry pick in Romans. Roman is meant Romans is meant as an entire uh, letter. And actually, one of the one of the most beneficial things that I've ever done when it comes to the to the book of Romans. I think it's a it, ribeye steak, man. Just I, I don't know what that cooked. means. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, but the, the point is is that is that one of the best things I've ever done is I have uh, listened to the entire book of of uh, Romans all at once uh, because the whole thing is is cohesive. Um, you have to keep going. So what Rob just said is absolutely right. We die to the condemnation of the law, and I'm sure that someone like Tan is probably going to say, "Where does it say that?" Well, it actually does say that in Romans eight one. And uh, one through five, he said, like, right, right, so right. he's talking about this death. And then in Romans eight, one through five, he says, there is therefore, there is therefore, therefore now connects the, the word therefore connects this to what he said earlier. No, and what yeah. he, and so he, he says, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free from Christ, uh, in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemns sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Amen. amen, amen. For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. This is important for, for what we're going to talk about in seven, five as well. They set their mind on the flesh. But those who living live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, the, that back to what Caleb was saying earlier. The, yes, there is the law is pointing out the sin, defines the sin and, as well as the penalty, and God does not change, and that that's a problem for sinners. But also, there is a righteous requirement of the law. That that doesn't have yes, to sir. do with the the law pointing out and condemning sin. It has to do. There's also a righteous requirement, right? Yep. Be holy, for I am holy. Right. That and so, uh, so when what Paul's saying is that we died because when Jesus died on the cross, he he took his he took the elect with him through death. Didn't matter 
if it was all the way back to Abel or all the way to the, to the last believer in human history that hasn't been born yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.